morning guys well we had about uh, three or four tenths of an inch of rain yesterday so uh, not a whole lot not terrible but enough to make it probably too wet to do anything today out in the fields at least so uh, this morning Phil is actually getting our uh, leftover seed wheat the stuff that we did not treat didn't need to plant what we uh, did um, he's gonna haul that in sell it um, I have got a customer with a couple of empty seed boxes from some wheat up uh, a few miles away so I'm gonna go pick those up here this morning and talk to them guys um, take a look around we'll see what else is going on around this afternoon I'll probably spend another day out trying to sell seed for a while here so um, be another slow day I guess which is okay we need those every now and then just had a really good visit with uh, one of my seed customers there I got those boxes picked up um, sounds like their yields aren't too bad either Beans have been pretty decent, so that's a good good sign. I did get a little bit of a commitment on us for some order for next year, so uh, we're happy about that. A couple more guys I'm going to stop and see on the way home. It is almost lunchtime here, so uh, sometimes I don't like stopping to see guys during lunchtime because I don't like bothering people. But uh, uh, I'm going to stop at the next farm, see if they're around. If they are, maybe I'll take them to lunch. Okay, I uh, made it back to my seed warehouse. I got to get these boxes unloaded here. Um, it started raining on my way back Wasn't in the forecast for today. I don't know where that came from. I don't think we've gotten a whole lot maybe a tenth or so but uh, it's Certainly not helping things dry out. So I had a good day out talking to some seed customers. Uh, I think I got some sales here and a couple of them this morning and uh, um, Yeah, it was a good day, so I think the rest of the day here, I'm gonna maybe spend some time cleaning up. I gotta get the seed treater cleaned up and put away, or just make sure everything's winterized on it so that I uh, don't worry about it freezing over the winter here uh, since we're done with it. Um, that auger over there has got to get taken back to the farm and put in the barn. That's the same auger that we use for unloading some of our grain bins uh, going into the trucks. So, sorry, the light is uh, bright that way. You can't see anything. Um, I also need to fold some of these boxes down so that they can come and get them. I've got one more customer that I've got to pick some up from yet, um, but they weren't available today. So uh, I'm going to work here for a little bit, and then we'll see what else is going on when I get done with that. These seed boxes are pretty handy. Um, this is how we get most of our soybeans and our wheat delivered to us, and actually a lot of our corn as well. Uh, they hold about 2,500 pounds, or... Uh, Depending on the seed size and stuff, we usually come with about 40 units of beans and 40 units of corn in a box. Um, they're a lot easier to handle than paper bags and the old bulk totes that we used to use. They, uh, they, this is kind of one set up and then they fold down in half for storage and transport so uh, the companies like them to be broken down and folded when we return them so that they're, uh, they can fit more on a truck and stuff. So uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to break them down. Uh, it's especially a pain in the butt to do it by yourself. There's no way I can do it right here, but I might be able to set my phone here and show you how it works. There's a lid that you got to take off the top, and then these handles. And it's just a matter of flipping the top over. stack nice so you can uh, stack them up get them out of the way they don't take near as much room and uh, yeah then they'll take them back and clean them out put more beans in them ship them back to us this spring or this winter actually I've already gotten some emails and phone calls uh, the company wants to ship me some seed for next spring already and it's October so um, I'm sure it won't be too long and we'll have this place filled up with a bunch more boxes okay it's after six, I'm going home.